But this is a short one, I, I promise. So um, I think non-English speakers have this problem more than others, uh, uh, than, uh, than English speakers or English installation. Um, and that is, um, usually your, your, some of the attributes need, need to match, right? Uh, for example, um, the prefix and the greeting and the formal title and the gender, some, especially like prefix and gender sometimes are related. Uh, for example, um, yeah, well, in English as well, right? It's Mr. and Mrs. and if, the, if that's wrong, right? Uh, and then things like this happen, right? I, I tried to come up with, um, it's, it's kind of hard to um, come up with a good example for this in English because um, it's, usually it's pretty straightforward and there's only Mr. and Mrs. and the gender has to match. But uh, also like um, more elaborate prefixes and stuff like that. So I came up with this sort of royalty based, very crude example. Uh, I, I, I have to <laughs> apologize for anything that's wrong. There's probably a lot wrong with it. Um, but basically, right, you have this, um, this problem here. So I, we were thinking about how to tackle this. And the idea was to create a suit in the sense of, um, you know, like, um, like in, in cards, um, a set of matching um, sort of attributes. And then uh, from there on, you can have a bunch of suits, what we just called um, a wardrobe. Um, and in this example, right, we, don't, we only have prefixes, titles, and genders, but obviously uh, you could sort of extend that to other stuff as well. Um, and what you can see is um, some of the attributes um, are uh, present in multiple, um, in multiple suits, right? Others aren't. So for example, um, what you can do with this now is if, for example, the user enters, okay, I'm, I'm going to enter a new contact and it's going to be female, then you already know that it can't be king, prince, or male peasant anymore, right? So you can restrict the amount of um, sort of the, the drop-down options to, to this kind of, um, to this pre-selected um, set that remains, right? Um, I'm going to... Actually, I'm going to skip the demo because uh, we have uh, like, um, a proof of concept implementation for one application of this. So basically what we, want to, what we did is we created structures to record the suits um, and added some logic to do this kind of deducing of, um, of attributes out of a set of given attributes. Um, one uh, sort of proof of concept case is if you create a new, con a new contact, we add a little drop down where you can select, where you can select the, um, the suit, right? You can say, I want to create a new king. And, uh, and it would automatically fill out the, the fields that are, that are unique, and it would give you a drop down for the rest, right? But that's just one of the possible um, applications of this, because once you have this, um, this wardrobe of your contacts, um, there's a lot of things you can do, right? You can, um, well, as I said, you can just add a drop down to pre sort of pre-fill fields on a, when you have a new contact. But you could also, uh, when you um, create or edit a contact, um, add the kind of suit validation to the general validation. So it would come up with something like, hey, you selected something like um, a female gender for a, a male, in, uh, in air quotes, male uh, prefix. And it said, uh, hey, this doesn't, to, according to your suits, that doesn't really match. Uh, you could also go and uh, automatically correct um, data in your database, right? So you could sort of rule out these things, these, um, these mistakes that happen when people enter data. Um, and you could also, for example, well, just either automatically correct it or give you a report on uh, which of the, con uh, of the contacts you have violate your, um, your set of suits. Um, yeah, basically, that's it. Is that an extension? That is an extension, but <coughs> it's only a proof of concept kind of implementation. But the idea is um, that with this sort of set-based logic that you can, from your set of suits, derive rules, uh, automatically derive rules of what is correct and what isn't, and uh, given a set of uh, parameters the user entered, uh, derive the the possible options for the rest of the parameters for the for the uh, for the rest of the attributes, right? So I think it's a very powerful powerful thing um, that um, especially in a complex um, in in a complex database where you have 
uh, lots of different um, greeting formulas and stuff like that that ha all have to match um, that it's it's really helpful to to use this to sort of clean out uh, clean up your data well yeah that's it questions <laughs>